Hello everybody and welcome to this, the first video in this brand new intro to SPICE series from Open Planetary. My name is Matt and in this video I'm going to be giving you the world's quickest introduction to what SPICE actually is. I'm going to be covering what we're hoping to teach you in the next couple of videos in this series and I'm also going to be hopefully getting your Python environment up and ready to code. Now if you want to get straight into that coding, hop over to lesson one in this playlist which should be the very next video. So for those of you still here, let's start by asking the question, what exactly is SPICE? It's a very good question to ask. Um, so SPICE is essentially an excellent collection of tools written by an excellent collection of people at NAIF, the Navigation and Ancillary Information Facility. And this series of tools can be used together to model, to plan, and generally query all kinds of information associated with planetary exploration and science. SPICE itself stands for spacecraft, planets, instruments, and a few other things that we might get to a little bit further down the line. But just know that if you want to know what any spacecraft or planets were, will be, or are right now, SPICE can give you that information. And if you want to know any extra details about instruments on specific spacecraft, well, SPICE can tell you that as well. It's a genuinely incredible toolset with a really very impressive set of documentation, but it can be quite daunting to get started using it. And that is where this series of videos comes in. We'll be covering the absolute basics of SPICE in this series. It's not going to be everything, but it should be enough to give you a really good head start when you begin writing your own code. And the idea is that every video is going to be about 10 minutes or less. Uh, it's going to cover one specific topic, and it should be easy for you to just watch on your commute or over a cup of tea or coffee or a margarita or however you want to watch it. And if you do want more information on SPICE, there'll be some links below to things like the SPICE website and documentation and the ESA SPICE service YouTube channel where there's longer videos from the NAFE team themselves that cover all of this in much more detail than I'm going to be able to do right here. Now the SPICE toolset comes in a couple of different languages, but in this series we're going to be using something called Spicy Pi, which is a Python wrapper around the SPICE toolset. Now Spicy Pi was written by someone called Andrew Annex, so I just need to take a moment to give a special thank you to Andrew, because without his just fantastic work, literally none of this would be in any way possible. So a massive thank you there to Andrew. Okay, so now let's jump over and start setting up our Python environment. Now, in order to follow along with the coding sections of these videos and also use the Jupyter notebooks that accompany the series, you're going to have to do a few things to set up your Python environment. First thing I've done here is open up the terminal, and I've also moved into the Intro to Spice folder, uh, which contains all of the lesson data and that I downloaded from the Open Planetary GitHub page. Now, once there, there's one last thing you need to do before anything else, and that's to make sure that you've got Python 3 installed. If you don't, there's a link included in the README for this lesson uh, that can take you to the download page for the Python 3 installer. But to check, I'm just going to run Python 3 here inside my terminal and hit enter. And you can see I am, in fact, running Python 3.6.8, which is perfect for my needs. So I'm going to hit Control D to get out of it. I'm also going to command K just to clear the screen there. So now that we know Python 3 is installed, the next thing we're going to want to do is install a virtual environment. Now, virtual environments just ensure that all of the extra Python modules we install for this course are kind of neatly contained within a single location on our computer. Uh, and that's kind of nice just managing dependencies in that way so that you can easily clean it up um, should you need to get rid of all of this Python stuff later. And it's not going to kind of infect other Python scripts that you might run in other places on your system. So to create that virtual environment, I'm going to type Python 3 dash M and we're going to be using the VNV or the virtual environment module and then I'm going to hit space and give it a name. Now in all of the virtual environment stuff I've done, it's pretty common to just call that VNV. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to hit enter and that will think for a second and then create us our nice new virtual environment. So in theory, it is now done. So if I hit LS in here, you can see I've got a lesson zero folder, a lesson one folder, and this VN folder as well. Now, in order to load our virtual environment, there's a slightly strange command you have to run, and there's ways of simplifying this and kind of automating it a little bit, but for now, I'm just gonna type source. I'm gonna go into that folder, so VN, but I can just hit tab to auto-complete that. I'm gonna go into the bin folder, so I'm gonna hit B and tab to auto-complete. And then inside of there, there's a command called activate, which again, just type AC, tab to complete that, and hit enter. And what you'll notice is that at the start of the line now, we have here in parentheses the name of the virtual environment that we're in. So we can see that that is all running as expected. So with our virtual environment loaded, we're now going to install into it the Python modules that we require for this course. So I'm going to type pip3 install, and I'm going to be installing spicy Pi. I'm going to be installing Jupyter, which is J-U-P-Y-T-E-R, and also matplotlib. 
So with all of those in a single line command, I'm going to hit enter and Python or pip3 in this case is going to go away, grab all of those modules and then install them one after the other. Now, this can take a little bit of time to put together all of the things that is required for spicy pie. So I'm just going to fast forward through this and come back once it's done. Okay, so as you can see, everything installed successfully. There's no kind of mysterious red error text in here. You can see the word successfully, which is uh, always a good sign. So now what we're gonna do is test those modules by loading the first Jupyter Notebook that we have available for this course. So I'm gonna type the words Jupyter Notebook and hit enter. Running that command automatically opens this website, which is the Jupyter file browser. And inside of here, you can see all of the files inside that intro to spice directory we started in in the terminal. Now to ensure that all of our Python modules are installed and running exactly as we need, I'm gonna to go to the lesson zero folder and click on the lesson zero intro setup.ipynb notebook. Uh, and when we do that, it's automatically going to load it in a new tab and then try and run all of the code inside of that Jupyter Notebook. And if all goes well, everything is installed as expected, you shouldn't see any weird errors. In fact, all you should see down the bottom is this, cspice underscore n006, probably six, might be seven, but probably six uh, for the near future. So if you see any text that looks like this, excellent, everything is installed correctly, we can jump on over to lesson one. However, what you might see is something that looks a little bit like this, module not found. Uh, and if you do see that, I've put in a few steps you can run through here to try and fix those errors. But if you run through those steps and you're still seeing problems, just head on over to the Open Planetary Forum and let us know. Okay, so with all of that done, you should now be in theory completely ready to start coding. As I said before, if you're not, just head over to the Open Planetary Forum and uh, you can ask your questions there. But let's jump over now to lesson one and start taking a look at where we all are right now. Thanks for watching.